position is like a suspension bridge. Each line adds strength and takes none away. Making lines run into each other is not composition. There must be motif for connection. Get the art of controlling the observer, that is composition. To me, I would say it's... Uh, I chose it because it tells us about importance of composition, about the reason why we build and why we use it. And here, the, uh, Robert Henry says we use it to control the observer. I would not say that because I would... I want... Hello? No, okay. Because I stand for freedom and not for manipulation or either controlling, I would say that composition helps observers read the painting, your art. But I, I agree that I would compare composition to the bridge, suspension bridge, which leads us, let's say, to the our parallel universe that we want to show to people. So in this case, we see also that each line, which we also can see in Vargas grids, that proves that each line is, is, making, uh, is giving strength to our visions and expressions. Well, that's... Uh, in general, it's yeah, the point. <laughs> of the quote and it's um, I'm done again. Okay. <laughs> he is actually the portraitist and he also has paintings of nature, I saw some. But um, because for a portrait, it's not really a composition. It, re it really is a part of its work of lines, you know, like that he, he, he's composing faces. I just wrote a couple of thoughts down on it. Um, me if I'm wrong, but uh, I wrote down um, the composer is like a architect who, before he builds a house, first charts a already a already marked out plan before a nail is even bought. Uh, wow. the, uh huh. Uh -huh. And uh, a composer is also like a farmer who plants his seed according to the grid of the four seasons. Um, composing is, is less about luster of aesthetics and looks, but it's more about being a good steward of thought and energy. Directing that thought and energy like an artist's arrow with exactness, purpose, and intent to hit his target or her target. Um, and doing that rather than drawing for the sake of expression or rendering really nice and um, to the composer the life and glory of his work is rooted in the depth of grid work, geometry, chart in the science of, ryth of rhythm and cosmology that's all I had. Cosmology is basically uh, the design of nature. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's cosmology. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. <laughs>
Yeah. Okay, so um, I'll just start with a little bit of brief about the client here. And the client was a, um, or rather is a Swedish uh, health institute. Um, and for some reason, they, they named it as a, it, it is a bread institute, bread, B-R-E-A-D. So, um, so that was the brief which I received from them. And though they said that they're a bread institute, but they overall deal with all kind of food. And, you know, they make stat like they churn out stat statistics about food and stuff like that. Um, so the, they wanted me to make a presentation template for them. And since it was bread, um, I started thinking in terms of like lo loaf of bread, like layers of bread, you know how it looks like one bread after another after another, something like that. And um, I tried a couple of uh, images at first, and I was not, I mean, though it was, it was okay, I was not really happy with it. Um, there was also, sorry? Uh, okay. So, Victor, if you go to uh, the first one which I sent, where, you know, there was some kind of, uh, uh, no, no, that's the later one. The one which had fields, um, like some, yes, this one, yes, yes. So I, I started, so I started with this um, design. So it has got those like layers, one after the other. That's what that was the thought. And then they had a logo, and that that logo you can see there, and it's kind of I, I don't I don't mean any disrespect, but it, the logo was quite different. It's very strange to me i really could not make out why there's a there's some kind of a curve and a circle and so so i i decided that i i'm going to work with curves most probably to make this um and um i used some colors which i thought were good with health health groups so i decided to use green and yellow yellow also because they have yellow in their logo and I decided to use there that picture of uh, a wheat, wheat crop um, because it's related to bread. I tried a couple of bread images, but I was not happy with it. And since they were not specifically only into bread, so I did, decided to use a little bit different kind of imagery. So this is the first version which I made and um, which I showed them as well as I, I started thinking about it. Um, so they came back with some specific feedback. One of the feedback was that they did not want the image to be a part of the layout. So they could use any image. So I had to I had to take that image out and not have it as a part of the uh, of the graphic layout which I was making. So then I started uh, you know making uh, this version which you are sharing right now. So I kept the layers as it is. But I took the image out to make it independent because when I make it in PowerPoint, it, the things are layered one after another. So in this version, the image is shifted to the top, which connects, uh, you know, the layers, which we have, the curve layers uh, with the, so it drives the eye there through the image. Um, and then once I did that, I still felt that the, composition was not really balanced because the logo was still hanging somewhere in the ear. Um, so I was trying out various things and I think, um, I mean, I, maybe I should not use the word, but almost by accident I hit upon this three lines which I could run through diagonally from the title of the presentation to the logo. And once I did that, it 
it looked cool to me it looked as if the whole thing was connected to each other um uh, the last thing which i did was to change the color of those diagon di those diagonal shapes um and uh, because when i made those diagonal shapes they were uh, they were okay but it didn't have that punch you know visually so i could not uh, so i wanted the whole layout to have at least one dark spot somewhere and when i turned it that into multiply i made all the three diagonals into multiply in photoshop i suddenly saw that there was a dark portion in the um, in the whole layout which came out and um, i, I like that uh, the last thing which i did was to change the opacity of the image on the top the one of the grapes i reduced it down because you know once i made these diagonals multiply the, uh, the dark the, the dark value spots which developed they were clashing too much with the uh, with the grapes on the top so i i changed the opacity i reduced the opacity and uh, it looked much better to me uh, i also played with the idea of having the same grapes down there after the last diagonal to the uh, on the um, right bottom sorry right bottom of the uh, composition but i thought it was looking too much i decided to give it a little bit of white space there so so th that that's how this whole thing developed and then of course i developed the inner slides victor if you can share the inner slides yeah yeah uh that was to make the dark portions of a composition darker and the light portions of a composition lighter Okay. Uh huh. Okay. yeah um yeah so i think the inside slides are uh, uh pretty straightforward thanks uh I, i i tried to use because they wanted imagery to be very separate from the design so i tried to use imagery in a limited way and made sure that it was away from the design and the text so the design still works without the without the imagery it should still work uh, i laid it out in such a way um if if you see the subtitle slide also the one which is called up drag uh i placed the imagery in the back and i faded it out a little bit so uh, so i i think i tried to kind of create layers of depth uh so so it would it would it would work uh better um uh, yeah and if you see the thank you slide we i have the grapes in both the places there so i i decided to take out the white space there um yeah on out of the content yeah yeah i think it it works rather rather well um so anyway folks uh, just to let you know the client did not choose this one <laughs> yeah uh, they went for something uh, different um it had a lot of um, it had a very straightforward composition uh, mostly squares and rectangles and it had a lot of white space so so that's my lesson i guess um so yeah i mean things happen and uh, i think you got to learn um
<laughs> yeah, thank, thanks, Victor. I just kind of um, um, yeah, I'm I'm not very uh, very good at talking, I guess, but uh, yeah, this helps uh, presenting your artwork. I think is an important thing. Do we post our comments now? Okay. Am I in? Can you hear me? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, Hi, sorry about that. Hi, Hi Martin. How you doing? Try to get everything all wrapped up here. Uh, Yes, I did. In? 
We can do the side. Doesn't really matter. That's up there now. Let's do it. So, sure. Okay, so uh, this is part of my efforts to produce the 13th uh, Conscious Women. And this is my reference. This is a, a sketch I made about the, uh, one of the Egyptian female pharaohs, Shehepsha, Hatshetu, had, had, had rather. And so this, this is the um, side view. And um, then taking the assignment of targeting the dominant areas, I did a takeoff of that and put it on a, this is like a square grid, square Vargas grid. And so I have the dominant vertical, dominant horizontal, all the dominants there in this particular one. I, I did two of these. Um, so what I what I have to do to to make to tighten things up is the the arcs going from the top of the crown of the head going up into the end of the tip they're off center as you can see by the line so I have to readjust those and um, I want to revisit this uh, with respect to the nose and the mouth and the eyes uh, next time. Yeah. That, thank you. Yes, that's that's it. Okay. And so like for me, the, the challenge is, is to synchronize positioning of the, the eyes, the mouth, and the nose, and I guess the ears as well, at these three different uh, looks. Right. So, 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 right. So, so that's the process. I used, I, I created the reference. Then I, on again, it's, it's a square, uh, Vargas square grid, broke it down, trying to find the, um, the dominant sections. Now, here, uh, the dominant diagonal, I just use as a cross it because it's, it's a, there's a sinister and a Baroque. Diagonals. I use them both. All right, that, and the, and they intersect at the nose, which intersects with the dominant uh, vertical and the dominant horizontal. Right.
Right. right. Yeah. Right. Would, would would that be cheating though, Victor? <laughs> 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 There's no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, I think I have a reference, I think. There's one that doesn't have any lines on it. Yeah, right. So that's basically what I'm trying to get. I mean, that's my point of reference. Again, trying to make them all, you know, come together with their lining up on the, on the, on the, the eyes, nose, you know, mouth and stuff like that. So then I go into the... Um, to the composition breakdown, it's on a, it's on a, uh, a square grid, again, dominant vertical, dominant horizontal, dominant uh, contrasting color, I mean curve rather, you know, all that kind of stuff I indicate in there. Um, but, you know, it's just a matter of trying to make all three of them fit together. Um, so that it, they they lock, they lock in they they line up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm. Well, yeah, she she was because she took over a man's role. <laughs> <laughs> she she was the one who who uh, under her rule they 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 made the obelisk. Mm-hmm. Right, that's, that's, right, I see that, right, right. Okay. Right. Yeah.
Right, right. <laughs> well, I, I, that's part of my challenge. Where, where to figure? See, I was going by my point of reference from the um, from, from the side piece, and on, this, on the side view, the ear is you know there's a lot of space around the ear, and I didn't know how to translate that into. But this looks a lot better. I see. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> that would have been a pretty big ear. Yeah, maybe so. Okay, I got you. But how do we address that 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 arc? You know, well, there's see, the, there's a line coming from the nose through the eye up to the past the brow into the hairline, and that and that's like an arc that goes into the back of the head. If you look to the to the first side piece, you'll see that we, that that has to be shown because that's uh, or I'm, I'm asking, does it have to be shown? Yeah, right, right, right. In a way, you have to you have to look at the side piece, the reference. Right, you see how see how the ear yeah, right, see how that from the from the nose goes up to the, then it curves back around. See that line? Well, it's it's part of the Yes, yeah, it's, it's part of the same process, but it starts from the nose, goes to the eye, goes to that first ring and then swoops back around. So like that's like, you know, part of the, the look. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, I have a question. Like these are all three different people. Like there must be any original sketch because on the first sketch where is a profile picture. We see that nose is much shorter than the original one. And like if it's the same person must be same. If you if you can put all pictures together on the same screen you would see the difference. No, she's right. That's, that's that was my that was my dilemma. All well, you know, I didn't really have an assignment. I just did it. Yeah, if we compare proportions, then the mouse is on the top 
uh, compared to the chin is higher, the nose is lower, and the, then the eyes must be higher, I guess, or I don't know. Then you should also compare the position where the ear is. And which one was original? I think the the the, the profile picture, right? Um. Yeah. So then, if you keep to the if the left one was original, then you should keep proportions the same, and then go to composition. I mean, I'm sorry because composition is priority, but. <laughs> Yeah, check where the nose is uh, compared to the distance with eyes. Yeah, yeah, it's like more. It's it, but in the middle of the main horizontal and the white horizontal that you made, and the ear is lower. Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to find it. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, to be honest, my, my challenge to myself was to be able to have them all line up and, and have, you know, a side, a three-quarter, and a frontal. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> oh, funny, funny, funny. Why oh, my that? God. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, I would keep also all horizontal the same on both three paintings. Okay. Yeah, that three me quarter. Too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I guess so, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's fine. Macias. Macias. Yeah. Uh, there's no R in there. Yeah, there's no R. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> my, my challenge was to get the gesture and then yeah mostly the gesture that's what I drew first so I needed to look look at the picture and then just get the general gesture word word oh, oh. feedback <laughs> 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 and so then after that I just kind of started sketching you know my lines start sketching the diagonals uh, verticals I wasn't trying to focus too much on trying to get my dominance or, or yeah try a little bit of this and that just kind of just going with it and then by the last two of them I started adding the different the uh, the curve, the line, um, more it was more the water, the air, and the earth. So the first pictures are the references. Uh huh. And I just. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> so I took the V sketch that you have with your package. That's in the the V sketch with the V grids and ran it through that. So that way I can only see okay what what lines are actually there and then I just started, you know, putting putting lines down. And uh yeah, mostly the main, mostly my main thing this week was just getting the gestures, like you said. Just try to get your gesture in there. What what movements going on? What's you know? What are you trying to convey? So the yeah, on some of them, not all of them. In gesture, yeah, I was pretty good. It, it just. That's all I wanted. <laughs> that was my main thing, just getting gesture down. Then I just started kind of going with, you know, okay, where's it going to go from here? And just started adding other stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
uh, Victor? Yeah, hi. Um, I have a question. Is it okay to put that right now? Uh, I have a question. Uh, uh, the second one, um, yeah, where is the dominant contrast there? The in the last where he is, he is marked. I think he's marked everything. It's it's a beautiful it's a beautiful sketch. I really like it. I just want where is the dominant contrast there? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. More grace. Uh, on the last one, on the last, on the last one, the last set or the last picture. Yeah, the last one, the last one. She, what I started with seeing is she's, she's more like a uh, fire. I was looking more at a little more fire, more water. She was more flow and he's, he's more earth. So he was like standing, you know, holding her like, you know, like she's coming up. She's, she's moving up towards him. But he's very strong and firm, you know, it's very earth, you know. Um, I didn't get too much into it. I try to add a little bit of, of, of curve with their hair to try to get that flow into it. Um, what else? Where's my diagonal? Her arm would be the di dominant diagonal. 
Yeah, I kind of started going a little too far ahead of myself on that one. Yeah. 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 Skip the step. <laughs> so, 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 what, what was your, your intent? What was your, the story you're trying to get across? Um. Yeah, I didn't even get to that because I skipped the whole step. So to me, it was just looking at her just moving up. There wasn't even a story. It was just her flowing up and him hold him holding her. You know, they're dancing, but there wasn't. I missed the I missed the whole step. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where are you guys writing feedback at? Uh <laughs> Okay. I guess. Let's do it. Uh, the first one's cool.
Okay. Well, um, I started off like you suggested. I traced it. I traced the image, and um, I tried to find my direct horizontal, direct vertical, and the uh, the rest of the the keys. And um, I was just trying to play around with the uh, how many how many uh, of the direct um, diagonal that I could find, like how many corresponding. Um, sure. Right. So I just kind of tried to find as many as I could to see how that would look. I kind of sensed it and, and made it, uh, forced it to be there. <laughs> that one is a different diagonal. Uh, did the same thing. Um, on this one, I uh, I changed the image. Well, on the left one, um, it's just the, the energy seems more long, you know, more vertical. Um, and it kind of makes me um, focus more on the, uh, the guy in the background, his, his part in the story. Whereas the one on the right... It's almost like it's it's scrunched down, you know, where it kind of makes me think about the position that the guy on the ground is playing versus the other guy. So, right? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, uh, Victor. Yeah, hi, I. I did not get that. I just need to listen to it again. I think um, <laughs> mm.
<laughs> oh, we help people read our uh, pictures. Yeah. <laughs> um. So that's 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 basically it with those two. Um. Um, that one playing around with the uh, the, the, the rec arc and see if I can find the same movement in more just the uh, the bent leg and um, just seeing if I, I can try to mimic that same curve throughout the uh, piece. No. Um, not necessarily. It just made me go more into depth on like um, the action that's being played between the two. You know, um, it made me have to really etch out uh, what kind of game is being played. You know, that kind of thing. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, these these three different images are telling a, a story. The first one deals with the energy almost at rest between the two. The second one, the man in the front is getting more energy, he's powering up. Almost as if like in the third one he's he's trying to kick the guy behind, but the guy behind flips over him and moves out of the way. Yeah, I see that. See with the circles, the arc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, so by, by just doing the, the geometry, not only you're telling, you're telling a story, but different segments of the story and, and very, very graphically. Mm. Well, that one was, uh, remember when I was telling you about, uh, like, mimicking, like, the rising sun? And um, I was just curious to see if the arcs would create, like, a uh, emanating effect of the, uh, of the players. So that's where I was going with that. 
Mm -hmm. I thought it yeah. might look yeah. different. Yeah. Oh, that's a big difference. Um, this one was kind of more diff. Well, not diff. I didn't like the original composition between the two bodies. Um, so I uh, I got the guy on the left. Over, kind of overlapped the arm of the guy on the right. Um, I uh, brought it up. Um. And I thought, uh, instead of the guy on being on two arms, I brought him, I brought him up. So that was the changes that I made. Oh. Right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, just playing again with um, trying to find those lines or or um, in the uh, direct arc.
And that's the last one uh, where I, I just brought him down basically into a semi Ole de Banco. Ole Banco? Space, uh, the roll of the bench. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Um, well, I'm learning, but I've enjoyed it a whole lot. I I had no idea. Like, I studied composition in, in art school, but we didn't really go into it with so much detail. So it's it's really enlightening to get so much information out of out of today's session. Okay. No, no. Mm -mm. Exactly. 
All right, yes. Sure. No, not at all. <laughs> mm hmm Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I can choose only one sketch. And, and I begin on the same, I mean, same level or I go through all stages. Okay, I will choose the most problematic one. <laughs> I don't know yet. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to go first. Okay. <laughs> cage, cage style, right? Gotta do it in Capoeira. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, well, Victor, I looked at everybody's work today, and I think I think it was great inspiration for me. I want to take an infographic. Um, maybe something which is a little bit more complex i'll try to do that and i want to work out this relations uh, which um, the other people shared today about this dominant diagonal vertical and horizontal and curve uh, i want to play with that a little bit uh, especially something like what i think um, I, i'm sorry i hope i don't get the name wrong something like what martin did i think I, he took the same same picture, but in each he changed the nuance a little bit to show us how the things change. I, I really like that. And I would like to do something like that. 
Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I think I maybe I got the name wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Natural flow, hour and a half. Hour and a half. Yes, yeah. hour and a half. Yeah, me, me too, Victor. Hour and a half is, sounds good. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, sure, Victor. Um, no, I, I just, yes, I want to do give compliments to everybody. I think great work. Um, the sketches are really nice. I don't, I know I don't sketch, but these sketches are starting to make me think. And uh, I, I love the way the lines have been handled in each one of them. Um, uh, so, yeah, great work. It's, it's really nice. Sorry, you said Gianna? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I heard, I heard the other name. So, <laughs> what I liked is, uh, I, I would like to say something about the progress, but I was not at the previous meeting, so I'm sorry. But anyway, guys, you have very good ideas. As for me and the... The last one with uh, Capoeira, I'm sorry, I forgot the name. Brian is so cool that you are not afraid to change and go away from your main, um, from your previous um, idea. Let's say change positions and etc. Because I'm afraid because I have the vision and I want to don't want to change nothing there, even if it's wrong. So keep going, guys. You're doing great. Okay, um, well, overall, I, I enjoyed the meeting and I enjoyed um, seeing everybody's work, um, everybody's different perspectives and, and composition techniques and whatnot. Um, I liked every single um, sketch that was presented today and I really enjoyed, I believe, um, Bill's work because I do portraits as well, so it was really interesting to see a different perspective in portraiture and Mita I didn't expect to see a designer in, in the group so that was really refreshing and I really enjoyed seeing your work as well so everybody did wonderful okay. oh yeah it's, it's all cool man I mean for me <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for me, it's, it's, it's really, um, I feel gifted by being with a group of such, you know, talented people. And so it's like, um, you know, it made me, it helped me get better. And um, that's, that's, that's a good thing for me. So looking forward to the same energy next week. All right. Uh, I know I missed the first part of the call, but so far it looks very impressive. I like what's going on here. Um, everyone's 
doing really good. Uh, Brian and, and Bill, I, I know what you're talking about, Victor, that they're kind of alike. They talk, like, speak the same way. <laughs> I started noticing that. <laughs> um, but as far as the overall group so far, I mean, it, to me, it's like we're, we're planting seeds right now, and all we got to do is just keep watering it. And, you know, sooner or later, people are going to see what we're doing, and they're going to start catching on. And, you know, it's going to, it's, this is big, this is a big deal, you know, even though it's a small group, you know, it's, it's, it's like, it's great. I like it. I'm just, I'm glad to be a part of this group. I'm learning a lot. Um, I was glad to also see the graphic uh, aspect of how this this works out with uh, Mita. So I'm learning a lot and just excited to grow with everybody. Yeah, and thank you too for creating the group and uh, teaching and stuff. <laughs> Until next week. Yeah, good All right, luck. Thank you. Bye. Right, you. Bye. 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 All right. Bye. Huh? Yeah, it's two AM. Oh wow. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I'm actually impressed by what's going on and see people like um, progressing. I, th I guess from what I see, what the previous sketch and uh, the final sketch, let's say, is. So it's cool, and I see, like, I'm very excited. Tec frankly, I don't count time when I'm sketching, when I'm painting. I don't count time when I'm looking at other sketches. So no problem for me. Just I can see that I, I make mistakes in words like dancing through S or I wrote it twice. So... Here I see that I I'm tired, but watching, talking, and like arts is is mine, <laughs> my stuff. I would not sleep for this. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, it would be a good idea to exchange contacts on Facebook so we could uh, see uh, what, what's, what, what's each level.
Okay, gut. Wir haben gut Zeit. Ja, bye. Okay. Okay. okay.